to it's the Little Star here to do um, one of my slightly different videos. I do apologise, it keeps blurring in and out of focus. <coughs> Got a couple of things I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to do one of these videos once a month. Do excuse the squabbling. Oi. I don't know why, but I just got the camera out and they started squabbling. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I will do one of these videos every month. Uh, these videos are actually going to be my stock videos. So here's my little box base um, about what stock I have left for sale still from the store. Uh, just to get people a chance to see it. Uh, also, I'm going to announce the winner of my monthly draw. Now, um, April's one is going to be today because I was away at the end of April. So, sorry, you guys, it's going to be a bit late. <coughs> I still have my horrible cough. Uh, and I have some scrabbling daegu. Who were fine about five minutes ago. And then I got the camera, as I've already said. Uh, the final thing I'm going to show you is some of the new stock that I've just made, as of yesterday, to be honest, because I was at work today, um, that has yet to have pictures taken, so you get a sneak peek. So, to start off with, I'm going to do the large cards first. So we've got um, this card here. Uh, can I get it out anymore? I have to move it back a bit, sorry. Um... It's a. It says you are so lovely. Um, I really quite like this card. I don't know who to give it to if no one wants it, but I really like it because there's lots of like detail. And this is all built up here in a decoupage with the pins and uh, again with the the three D art all here. And the like, seat buttons. No real buttons. I put on some real buttons. Um, so there's lots of. Lots of stuff going on here that would be um, nice for someone. Probably a crafty type. Um, as with almost all of my cards, they're blank on the inside. Um, yep. Yeah. So, this one is still for sale if people are interested. If you are interested and you have just stumbled across my YouTube video, welcome. <laughs> Uh, please do message me if you want stuff, if you see anything you like. Uh, next, uh, another one along the kind of you are so lovely line of things, so kind of a crafty sewery type one. We have this one here, which is again lots and lots of 3D all over here, because you know we like 3D. And real buttons again, um, saying that you are as cute as a button. Uh, would make a nice birthday card, uh, or celebration card, or just a card that you like to give to someone, because I know some people out there do like giving out cards. <coughs> um, there's a young lady called, uh, well, she goes by the name of Gentle Whispering on YouTube. She's a lovely ASMR video artist that I love listening to. And she recently sent out like 50 cards to all of her watchers. Um, I thought that was quite cool. <laughs> Maybe if I get too much card stock, I might do that. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one is a happy birthday card in blue. Uh, including the gorgeous range. I really like, again, I really, really like this card. Um probably not got the best lighting in the world, um, but if I can get it to focus, there you go, see, happy birthday, nice, really sorry, my camera takes forever to focus it seems, um, nice little 3D, as you can see, bit on the front, So, that's all my really large cards. Next are my slightly smaller ones. Um, the 
that's it. What I'm going to do, show you, is a little tag bo booklet. Let's move this forward a bit. Oh, the button's fallen off. It's a bit annoying. Okay, so I won't show you that one because I have to fix it apparently. Um, oh no, wait. That's probably not filling a lot of people with confidence, but unfortunately this uh, particular pinwheel was not made by myself. The pinwheels I have made have managed to actually stay, stay stuck together, thankfully. And in the background you can hear scrabbling for glue. Which has been found. So, for those of you who are interested, it's supposed to look like this. Um, now, unfortunately, this pinwheel here is being a bit of a pain in the back side, and the button has fallen off. But I've just glued it back on with my super, super glue of doom. Or, more commonly known as... Stick it glue. It's a silicon glue. That button is now never coming off ever again. Unless you, like, pry it, up, pry it off. So, as it said on the front, it says on the front, postcard tags. This is literally what this little uh, tag book is. It has some little post-it notes in it. Um, now, this was originally an idea... Oh, there we go. Sorry, my camera. Um, this was an idea that I, well, was, I came up with some help. Um, and the idea is that you can use this, um, use those on your crafts, and then once you're finished with them, you can use this as your um, craft as well. So you can stick those on cards, or you can use them as gift tags, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I think that's quite cute. Um, if, however, lots of people haven't agreed with me, but you know what, I like it. And sometimes you've just got to make stuff you like. Again, this is one I like. I quite like. Um, I'm not sure if it ever got shown, but anyway. Oh. Let's try it back again. Or lift up. There we go, that's better. Have a little scarecrow card. So if I open it up. A scarecrow for the more guardian, guardian, gardening orientated friend, lover, sister, mum, maybe even dad. Nice little birthday card for them. Again, I quite like that one. Sadly, this one doesn't come with an envelope because um, the scarecrow is too big for the envelope, but. That is reflected in the press. If you are interested in any of these items, please do contact me. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, dang it. Happy birthday. Oh, wonderful. When the record light gets stuck. I'll hold up there. <laughs> Hopefully you can't see it so much. So yes, metallic happy birthday, um, 3D with nice crochet, little uh, lady sticker, and some nice little flower embellishments. Now I like this one, but then again, I like some of the stuff I do. <laughs> Not all of it, I would like to add, but just some of it. Um, one. This one is um, a little bit of a, a cheapy one, to be honest, if anyone wants it, because um, 
I did make a mistake in it. There's no S on the end, so it's a congratulation card. <laughs> anyway, it was a, a nice idea. Uh, Three-tone card, including, obviously, the stamping and the nice uh, tree. I thought it was quite a nice little card to try out. Um, and as such, I, again, it's an interesting little card for a um, different celebration than I normally do. Because normally I try and make sure that there's some... Um, my cards are mostly uh, capable of being used for any occasion. It was not the case with that one. That one's a celebration card. Now, um, these next couple do not have envelopes, I will say that, but they are very, very nice cards. So, they're quite large as well. <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, these are some of my, more of my, uh, <coughs> excuse me, gorgeous 3D cards. Um, yeah, I quite like these. They're made from a single sheet of A4, scored in half, and then decorated using um, gorgeous papers and decoupage kind of characters. So... This one is called Firefly Birthdays because you've got you know, three little fireflies chasing the firefly light girl with a happy birthday in the corner. Okay. Next one is another gorgeous happy birthday card. This one is a bit more kind of night orientated with the little hedgehog baby hedgehog at the bottom and lots of butterflies in a night kind of scene I thought it was quite cute when I made it I quite like that one but you never know other people don't okay so now we're back onto the kind of smaller cards um, this is an any occasion card uh, enchanting bird. Um, I did a couple of these in what I called the, the Enchanting Bird series. I did sell most of them. Sadly, this one didn't sell. Um, I think that's mostly because it looks quite pink. It's not actually pink at all. It's red ink that has been printed onto pink card, uh, onto white card, sorry, very creamy card, which makes it look pink. But it's a nice little card. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I know for some people they may not like it a bit too girly. I think it's quite delicate and I quite like that one. But it's for any occasion. And as with all my cards, it's blank on the inside. Okay. Mm, next card. Yes, it's all cards this month, I'm sorry. Uh, another one in the Enchanting Bird series. Uh, slightly different. Um, a little bit plainer. Still quite delicate and possibly a little bit too girly. But again, it's for any occasion. There is no happy birthday. There is no congratulations. There's nothing inside of it or on the outside. So that would be another one. This one again was a little bit of an experiment. I don't think it turned out quite as well as I liked it to, but it's still a unique idea. The Make a Wish card. <coughs> Probably better being used as a um, birthday card. Features a nice rolled up piece of paper showing both sides of the pattern, uh, including birdcage, pretty young lady here. And a nice peeled design. Now, I quite like this one. I, I, to be honest, I quite like quite a few of my cards. But that sounds conceited. It's just, uh, I'm proud that I'm actually making stuff. <laughs> when I get bored and tired of making stuff, I'm going to be quite upset with myself. <clears throat> now, this is one of my oldest cards that I've had for sale for quite some time. Um, it's a birthday card for uh, a, a nana. Or a grandma. It says grandma, but you know. It's because the it goes with the poem. I know it's quite pink. 
that again, I quite like it because the poem bit was in pink and I didn't like the fact that there was, co oh, whoops, sorry, there was contrast going through it. If I put too many other colours with it, it looked a bit weird. So, yeah, the poem reads, Although I rarely say it, I hope that you can see, I'm really glad you are my grandma and you mean the world to me. So, um, if no one <laughs> wants this card, I have the perfect recipient for this one. <laughs> but yes, I quite like it. Again, it's blank, so it could just be a thank you card to your grandma or your nan, or it could actually be the birthday card. Okay, next card. Okay, this one was originally a commission for someone. They decided that they didn't like it and didn't want it. It features Ellie from The Last of Us. Yes, it is The Last of Us. And has is a slightly... Um, It's a friendly occasion. If you like The Last of Us, then you'll like that card. Or the recipient likes The Last of Us. Um, <clears throat> Again, I really like this one. I know it's quite feminine, and I know it's showing that I am quite a feminine person when you actually get to know me. But I like this one. It's a very nice little card. Very interesting little bit of detail or at least I think it is I actually should probably make more cards like this but probably not quite so feminine and delicate just very pretty but I do like it an awful lot again any occasion because there is no happy birthday on the outside Okay, now originally this one was made to be a Valentine's Day card. I can't ever get it to show very well. Even in photographs it doesn't show up very well, but I quite like this one. It, obviously, as you can see, says love and features a birdcage, glasses, you know, the kind of thing you, you want to show your love on, maybe. Um, it's blank. But you could use it as a Valentine's card. You could use it as a birthday card. You could even use it as a Christmas card if you really wanted to. Or your card. Or whatever. But, you know, it's a nice card. a 3D Oriental Geisha card. Now, unfortunately, this one doesn't show up very well, but... Mm, there you go. <laughs> it's mostly because my camera doesn't like that one. It keeps on... I'm not sure if it just tried to do it on your screens, but it couldn't focus at all. <clears throat> We're on to the last leg now, guys. You've almost got rid of me. If you have kept with me for this entire way through, well done. Okay, couple more cards. <coughs> Again, back to the so lovely, someone special button. Yes, I know. Um, it has no occasion on there. So, I suppose it could be used for anybody. Nice little card, though. In green and blue. Okay, this one I'm not too proud of. But it, I'm sure it'll appeal to somebody out there. this one originally the sewing flowers because the idea was that it was supposed to be the little pinwheels are supposed to be some like a sewing kit flowers um you know with some little actual sewing embellishment embellishments up there it's birthday card birthday 
but it didn't quite work out. However, it, it, someone will like it, probably. If not, one of you is going to get it in the freebie draw. Ah, ah, ah. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> and last but by no means least, um, for the old card stock, or for the old stock, I have a love card another gorgeous card i really do like the gorgeous stuff it is so fun to play with especially the little stamps so they smudged a little bit <laughs> i think it adds its own kind of charm there so i tried to do a kind of wall thing so this is the victorian upper half of the wall with the frame and then the border and the bottom half with a little stamp and some you know the kids have been a bit naughty and stamped butterflies all over the place um, again, there is no <coughs> occasion for it, but you never know. You might find one. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, my cough is still awful. Now, we're going to move on to the new stock. Now, I've done something a little bit different. I thought I would actually do some proper occasion ones. <coughs> now, have you got this one? was trying something new and um, I've got some new stamps for um, <laughs> stamping so as you can see new letters all over the place new stuff to try it's an interesting little card it's for home moving into a new home um, it's an interesting one but that's one of my new ones in stock okay another Victorian kind of wall one and uh, this is what a happy birthday one, um, including some stamps because I quite like the idea of it all being travelling and then with something just hanging in the middle. But this is a birthday one because it says, hope all your wishes come true on your birthday. And as always, I do actually wish that for all my friends and family. So I had that to hand, so I, I made a birthday card. <laughs> Ooh, actually, and this is the first card that is made using a different coloured card. Proper card. It's yellow. <laughs> I'm sorry to those of you who don't like yellow, but, you know, I made a card using yellow. Deal with it. <laughs> Next one. A happy birthday card. I don't know why I decided to do this one with a little house, but I was kind of bored last night and thought I'd give it a go. Um, there's a little bit of pleating at the bottom. <coughs> And a nice little birdhouse design. Uh, it was an interesting idea at the time. And it's kind of worked. Uh, last two. Uh, whoop. Before we do the prize draw. No, the card envelope. I would have to get that later. This one is a card for friends. More than anything else. Maybe a loved one. Um, but it says. It's an angel card. An angel for you. May you always have an angel to guide you from afar to protect, help and care for the special person that you are. It's a nice little poem. It's a bit mis mich ma mis mi no. mismatched with the paper, but, you know, eh. These were more experiments after me getting back into the swing of things and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit ill. And we have a large card again. Means I need to adjust the camera. There we go. A Victorian styly, steampunky ish, not very, but still, um, card um, that says with love and can be used for any occasion as long as it's with love. So don't send this to an enemy on your birthday, cause, or, or her birthday, or his birthday, or whatever, because you know, that's just rubbing salt in the wound. <coughs> okay, so those cards will be appearing up on the um, Lilith's Curios um, Facebook page very soon because, as we all know, those who um, are on my Facebook get first dibs uh, before Etsy. Now, the final thing is the draw for April. April's drawer winner gets this card to give to someone they love. Now, only one person actually entered, and that is Colin Wingrave Jones, 
who will be receiving this card. I hope you like it and I hope you find a nice use for it. Okay, sorry that took so long YouTubers. Um, the next video I will hope will um, cut it down a bit. I'm hoping once I've filled up my three boxes here, um, that I will be going to a craft fair, so you may hear about that at some point. But if not, hopefully uh, I will be at craft fair, I will have sold stuff, so hopefully the next video won't be so long for you to go through. Anyway, bye bye YouTube. Bye bye.